Hey, what's good, guys? It's Austin here, or Luna. Now, today's story takes place about a year ago, and this is just one of those stories that, like, you hear it, and you're just like, what the fuck? So, this all starts at a party, okay? So, a year ago, I was at a party, hanging out with some friends, and it started off as a super chill thing. It was my friend hosting it, me, like, four other people, and of course, we invited people, but we didn't think it'd get to, like, more than 20 people at once. Well, a couple hours go by, it exceeded that a lot. Like, I think in total, if I had to guess how many people showed, it was probably like 50 people. And I know to some people that might not sound like a lot, but in my friend's house, that was a lot of people. Like, it was a lot of people to fit in that little house. But after people started showing up, this one group of people showed up that I just didn't like off the bat because it was like four people and they just seemed so obnoxious. Like, when they walked in, the first thing they did was scream. They're like, we here, we in this bitch, we in this bitch, like just screaming and shit. And, like, it wasn't that kind of party. Like, you didn't just show up and you're like, yeah, let's fucking rage. Like, it wasn't that kind of thing. And they were sipping. They had fucking lean with them, which is just, like, so ironic to me because they walked in, like, being super obnoxious and talking about, like, partying. But lean's that kind of drug that you hear, like, chills people out. So you think they'd walk in just being like, yeah, let's fucking take a nap. But now they walked in and just started screaming and being obnoxious. But anyway, that's not even where the story even gets good, okay? So about an hour of them arriving goes by, right? And my friend's little brother comes out like he was sleeping when it started. But since so many people showed up, I'm guessing the music woke him up and all the noise. So he came downstairs and said hi. And he's like 14 years old. Like he's like a little kid, but he's still a kid. Anyway, he came downstairs. He was talking to me and my friend. He's a really cool dude. Like I always like talking to him. He was always funny as hell. But I saw something that happened a couple minutes later that just pissed me off so bad. So my friend who was hosting the party, a.k.a. his older brother wasn't around i don't know where he was he must have been out back or something hanging out with other people but after his little brother talked to me and my friend he went over to the fridge to get something to drink and right next to the fridge like in the kitchen area that's where the dudes were they were like sipping lean and shit they were all just sitting there on the counter like talking to each other and his little brother opens the fridge and i hear one of the dudes yell something at his little brother so i like kind of like you know listened in i was like what the fuck are they talking about and they were like yo come over here little man come here and i see his little brother walk over to them and i see one of these fucking dudes hand the cup of lean to this kid he's like yo sip this you want something to drink sip this you'll love it and i walk over there fast as fuck and i grab the cup and i'm like yo what are you doing and the dude's like oh come on man like don't be a fucking buzzkill like we were having fun dude he wants to have fun i was like this kid's 14 what the fuck are you doing he's just like what like what dude chill the fuck out i'm like dude i'm not gonna chill the fuck out you're trying to turn my friend's 14 year old little brother into a fucking junkie like you guys And they're like, we're not junkies. And I'm like, dude, I could give two shits what you guys are. Like, don't give my friend's little brother lean. Like, he's fucking 14. Do you have any conscience whatsoever? Like, oh, this kid looks young as fuck. Maybe I shouldn't offer him lean. Like, don't do that shit. And they're like, dude, we were just trying to make a fucking joke. Like, chill out. I'm like, it's not a joke, dude. Like, that's not funny. And the dickhead who offered it to his little brother starts getting up in my face. He's like, what are you going to do about it? And I'm like, dude, this is not a good idea. Like, you don't want to do this because I had his lean in my hand. He's like, oh, what the fuck are you going to do? What are you going to do, man? And he starts getting even closer. And before he could do anything, I hear, hey, what the fuck's going on? And I turn around, and it's my friend, a.k.a. the dude that lives here, a.k.a. his older brother. And he's like, what's going on? And I was like, yo, these fucking losers offered lean to your 14-year-old little brother. And then one dude's like, fuck you, man. And I was like, shut the fuck up, degenerate. He's like, I'm going to fuck you up. And my friend gets in the way between us two. And he's like, you offered my 14-year-old little brother lean? And he's like... No, dude, it was a joke. Like, I'm not going to offer him that. That's fucked up. And I'm like, he's lying to you, man. Like, I literally saw him say, take a sip of this, man. You'll love it. And my friend just goes, you got 10 seconds. And this dude was just like, what do you mean I have 10 seconds? And my friend goes, you got 10 seconds, dude. 10 second head start before I fucking run after you and beat your ass. And the dude's like, all right, fine, fine. Like, we'll get the fuck out of here. And he turns around. And I honestly thought he'd put up a fight because with me, like, he got up in my face and, like, he wanted to fight me. But the minute my friend got involved, I guess he felt outnumbered. Even though he wasn't even outnumbered, it was me and my friend versus him and two other people. But yeah, he turned around and then his two friends turned around and started walking. And right before he opened the front door, he turned around and he's like, can I get my cup back? And he was pointing at me. And I was like, oh, oh, you want this back? And I just walked over to the sink and slowly poured that shit out in the sink. And he screamed. He's like, fuck you. I was like, dude, shut the fuck up. And my friend pushed him. He's like, get the fuck out of my house. And they all left. And my friend didn't actually chase them and do anything because after they were off his property, he was kind of just like over it. He's like, whatever, just get him the fuck out of here. I guess moral of the story is don't invite dumbass, obnoxious people to your party. Like, keep it small. Keep it close, friends. It'll be real fun. 
And yeah, dude, I felt so bad. Like my friend's little brother came downstairs to say hi to everyone and just get a drink. But he ended up being in the middle of this like big argument and he was probably pretty confused. But anyway, after my friend kicked those dudes out, his little brother hung with me and my friend for a while and we just kicked it. And I got him some Dr. Pepper because I feel like that's just what he originally wanted. He didn't want to fucking get offered lean. And, you know, Dr. Pepper won't make you physically have cold sweats and be dependent on it. So he just kicked it with me and my friends for a little bit. We hung out. And then he eventually ended up going back upstairs. But that's pretty much the end of the story. Like, just ridiculous. Like, I don't know why anyone would think that's funny. Like, oh, let me just offer this pretty serious drug to my friend's 14-year-old little brother. Like, that totally won't piss him off. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much the end of the story. Everything ended up being okay in the end. Everything was fine. Hope you guys enjoyed this story. Leave a like on this video if you guys enjoyed this story. Leave your stories in the comments down below. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys all later. Peace.